Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today, this is the video that a lot of you have been waiting for. I'm going to be ranking the five Arkham games from least to best. This is my opinion, guys. You guys are more welcome to disagree, which I'm sure a lot of you will. A lot of this is going to be very surprising to a lot of you. I can almost see it now. Yeah, but anyway, let's get right into it with step. number five. And coming in dead last, number five, we have Arkham Asylum, the one that started it all back in 2009. I was just eight years old. The story, the long Arkham story, was about to begin. Now, guys, I don't hate this game. I really don't. This is just my least favorite because of a few reasons. One, the later games improve on the gameplay, and it's very outdated, which I know it's not really fair. However... Saying that, there's just, it's very underwhelming, it's very, it's lacking a lot of stuff, and I don't know what that is. I know it has one side mission, but that's also another problem, it only has one side mission, which I get, it's the start, it's, you know, not that big of a game, I totally get that. Uh, which, the one side mission is Riddler, the gameplay is okay, uh, even to this day. But the other games just does, does it better. Challenge mode's fun and easy. D the DLC was okay and fun. But I love playing as Joker. The best DLC for Arkham Asylum is definitely Joker. But that is why I am putting this at number 5. Let's move on to number 4. And coming in at number 4, we have, that's right, Batman Arkham City. Oh my goodness, guys. I did it. I ranked Arkham City above Arkham Asylum, but below Arkham Origins, Suicide Squad, and Arkham Knight. Can you guys believe it? I actually did it. Guys, don't kill me, but this game is very overrated. True, boss battles are good, and I'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, this game, it did improve on some factors that Arkham Asylum did, like the combat, the Predator, gadgets, graphics, I mean, obviously. Uh, there's more side missions, but some of them are too short, like the Freeze Blast, or the Remote Hideaway, or Mad Hatter. They're all just too short, in my opinion. Joker dies, spoiler alert, <laughs> but Joker dies. Uh... He's one of my favorite villains. I don't like that he died. Now, as I said, boss battles. The boss battles were good, like Mr. Freeze, Ra's al Ghul, Clayface, and even Solomon Grundy. They were fun. Uh, challenge mode was way too hard, but still fun. This game is fun. I do like this one. That's why I put it above Arkham Asylum. However, I just think the other entries are better. So let's move on to number three. And coming in at number three, we have Arkham Origins, the extremely underrated great Christmas game. Guys, Arkham Origins. Yes, some of the side missions were short, just like Arkham City, and that's why it's at number three, at least part of the reason. The side missions were great, uh, but like I said, too short, like Anarchy, Black Mask, Bird, Mad Hatter, all of them were terribly short. Now, one thing I liked about this game, you get to play as Deathstroke. Uh, you get to play as, uh, Batman, obviously. It had multiplayer. Uh, my favorite thing is, believe it or not, the story about this game. Even though the Bane stuff is not canon, uh, Arkham... Bane is way different than Origins Bane. Let's see, we have the Joker and Harley Quinn meetup was not in or, or uh, Blackgate. It was in Arkham Asylum. And this game retconned it. Uh, but that's why it's ultimately in number three. Uh, I do like the secret side mission. The secret side mission with uh, Cyrus... Cyrus Pinkney, I think that's how you pronounce his name. But this game is is extremely underrated. A lot of guys are actually starting to enjoy it nowadays, especially with Suicide Squad coming out. 
And speaking of Suicide Squad, let's move on to number two. That's right. And coming in at number two, yes, that's right. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Guys, don't kill me. But this game is so fun. I'm not going to lie. That's one reason why I keep playing it. Gameplay is fun. That is why I'm actually a believer in the future for the content that we're going to get over the coming months. Story was okay at some points, but bad in others. Like how Batman died. I didn't like that, but at the same time, I was prepared for him to die because it is called Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. But overall, it was okay. Uh, there's not really too much I want to get into because I did make a review video for Suicide Squad, so go check that out. Ultimately, I go over why it's a good game. But anyway, let's move on to number one, which you should all know what it is. And coming in at number one, the number one Arkham game, in my opinion, Batman Arkham Knight. My god, guys, this game took what Arkham City and even Origins did and improved on it. Graphics, the story was the best, in my opinion, at some points anyway. Side missions are good and long. They are fun and... That has a lot of playable characters. You get the freaking Batmobile. Like this Arkham game. Has been hated on so much. And I've just stuck with it. Since the beginning. I've fell in love with this game. Ever since I started playing it. Even though the Batmobile is overused. I still enjoy it. Uh, some examples. Of the side missions for being short. Are Blackfire. Hush, and I think there's one more I can't think on the top of my head. But guys, let me just tell you something. This game is so fun. If you haven't played it, please play it. This is the game where Batman died. This is the story of how Batman died. How fear almost took him over, but he conquered it. Kicked Joker out of his mind and was able to become... A full-time Batman protector that Gotham needed. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like. Remember, be civil in the comment section below. Please, guys, don't hate on me. Just enjoy the video. I've worked very hard on it. You guys are amazing. I love you all very much. Let me know what your ranking is down in the comment section below. Also, one more thing. If you guys would like to see a DC ranking video, please let me know as well. I could do a top 10, a top 5, or even a top 15. Whatever you guys want to see. Just let me know what you want me to do. Anyway, guys, peace out. Have a good day. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you all in the next one.